Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to file a chargeback. When a cardholder believes a transaction on their account is invalid or they should not have to pay for it, they can initiate a chargeback process. Here's a step-by-step -step overview of how this process works. The cardholder contacts their issuing bank to dispute the transaction. This can be done via phone, email, or by filling out an online form. The issuing bank reviews the cardholder's claim to determine if it constitutes a valid reason for a chargeback. If the claim is valid, the bank will typically grant a provisional credit to the cardholder equal to the disputed transaction amount. The issuing bank notifies the merchant's acquiring bank about the chargeback. The acquiring bank then debits the merchant's account and charges any applicable chargeback fees. The acquiring bank informs the merchant about the chargeback, providing a reason code that explains why the chargeback was initiated. This reason code is crucial for the merchant to understand the basis of the dispute. If the merchant decides to dispute the chargeback, they must gather compelling evidence to support their case. This evidence can include transaction data, AVS and CVV matches, delivery confirmation, customer purchase or usage history, and any communications with the cardholder. The merchant must submit this evidence to the acquiring bank by the specified deadline, which can range from 20 to 45 days after being notified of the chargeback. Missing this deadline results in the chargeback being accepted by default. The acquiring bank forwards the merchant's evidence to the card network, which then reviews the case. The card network may request additional information or make a decision based on the provided evidence. If the merchant's evidence is deemed valid, the chargeback can be reversed and the funds will be returned to the merchant's account. However, the chargeback fee is not refundable. If the chargeback is upheld, the cardholder retains the provisional credit and the case is closed. The merchant can appeal this decision to the card network but this process involves additional fees and is not always successful. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.